Remember, too, in determining what is the appropriate sentence for what he did. That he came there for them all. The 700 rounds, the grave risk of death. And it wasn't sufficient to come prepared to shoot and to kill them, but to deprive them of the first responders that might have shown up to stop him or render aid. That moment, that picture's way too lit, but that moment when he stepped in with that tear gas and that gas mask, and that 12 gauge shotgun, the 100 round drum clip in his assault rifle, the 40 round magazines on his person, and he stops pulling the trigger only because the trigger stopped working. Does that get a life sentence for that conduct? Remember, too, that he predicted a life sentence. Remember? I'm going to object to speculation, his statement of the evidence. Overrule. Before he goes out to murder, he changes two of those social websites, the match.com, will you visit me in prison? And more than predict it, he planned for it. Head to toe, fingers included. There wasn't a millimeter of flesh exposed to any possible pain or injury. He made sure that on July 20th, one person and one person alone would be guaranteed to survive. And that was him for this. He predicted it. He planned for it. He wants it. Does this and everything else warrant a life sentence. And that's not justice. That's not a reason moral determination. On July 20th, 2012, he came into that theater to perpetrate a mass murder. And we were lucky. The tear gas canister he fumbled. The apartment that didn't explode. The weapon that jammed. The hero first responders. They kept these 12 pictures <coughs> from becoming hundreds of pictures. You remember, thank you, you remember that moment. Hello, 911. Where is your emergency? Well, I can't hear you. What address? Peter, Hello, Colorado. Yeah, well, I can't hear you. Give me the address again. There's gun shot. What address? can't get justice for them. They are beyond the reach of this court and the law. And so you should not go back there and think about how to get justice for them. But we can appreciate the gravity of the crime that took them from us and treat it appropriately. You cannot get justice for them, those that came here to tell you how they have become part of the living dead where parts of their lives are forever gone. That the silver lining to getting up every day is that it is one day closer to being reunited with their loved ones. You cannot get them justice and you should not seek it. Bless you. But you can bring justice to this act and to him. And 
for James Egan Holmes. Justice is death. Thank you, Mr. Bruckler.